Welcome to a new vlog. Today my Raspberry Pi 4 is again in the spotlight because I want to show you the different scenarios where the board could be throttling down the CPU frequency and how you can identify those. Because it might be a case where your Raspberry Pi is running slow on a particular task and you don't know why because there is no built-in mechanism to let you know when the board is throttling down. There are logs which you can check but let's be honest, few people actually check the logs for something like this. Throttling of the CPU frequency occurs for good reasons, to protect the board or the CPU from overheating or to prevent any errors from occurring in the case of an under voltage scenario which may lead to data loss or corruption. This video is sponsored by JLCPCB.com, a professional PCB supplier who can offer 24 hours turnaround time for prototype PCBs for just $2. You also have a selection of solder mask colors with no extra cost and affordable laser cut stencils, so it's definitely worth checking them out. Luckily, there is a way to check if your system is under one of these conditions. You can run this command on your Raspberry Pi and the response you'll get will be one of these numbers you see here. This is a bit pattern, so the command we ran earlier will give us a hex output that we need to convert to binary and then check if particular bits are set or not according to our bit pattern. Yeah, I know it's not pretty to have to do this every time you check your system for throttling, but someone thought of this and wrote a script that will automatically check the status of those bits and report in a more readable manner. I found this on GitHub from a user named Alan. I grabbed the code, saved it inside a file name called test.sh using nano, the built-in editor on the Raspberry Pi. I then made the script executable and voila, you get a nice text output with the status of your system. In this screenshot, there were no, no errors. The output is in green, but in case some uh, throttling occurs, the output will look like this the errors will be outlined in red. So now if you are getting throttling errors because of temperature, check out Vollog 264 where I installed this passive heatsink on my Raspberry Pi 4 to improve cooling and I also ran some tests to prove the efficiency of this and uh, uh, I showed how I got rid of thermal throttling. If you are getting under voltage error, then your Raspberry Pi is not powered properly. It could be the 5 volts power supply you are using is sagging or not able to provide enough current, or it could be a bad USB Type C adapter and cable because uh, at the end of the USB Type C cable that I was uh, using, um, I had less than 5 volts when the Raspberry Pi was booting. There was simply a voltage drop on uh, this long cable and the um, Apple MacBook adapter that I used for testing. So I replaced this with another adapter and a shorter cable and the problem was solved. So there you have it. This was a short video to show you how to identify and fix two of the reasons that throttling might occur on your Raspberry Pi. You can even build your own scripts to monitor and notify you if throttling is occurring on your system. This can be useful if you run your system unattended in a remote location. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget you can support the channel on Patreon. There is a link in the description below the video. And as usual, I would appreciate your feedback in the comments below. Let me know what you think and I'll see you next time.